Good evening. My name is Alexander Meek. I'm fortunate enough to have both my grandparents and my grandfathers in attendance today. So to ensure that they can hear what I'm saying, I will be talking loudly and very slowly. <laughs> it's a common adage to say, try, try, try again. Try as many times as you can, because if you never try, you'll never succeed. In the words of hockey great Wayne Gretzky, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. The unfortunate counterpart to this mentality is the fact that it inevitably leads to failure. Lots of it. I told myself I would dunk by senior year. Yet here we are at the end of it all, and I'm hardly even allowed to play basketball because of a major surgery I underwent in November. All I can really think about was playing sports the entire time I was on crutches, imagining what it would be like to run and to jump again. However, it's been six months since my last surgery, and I'd be lucky to even touch rim at this point. Therein lies the problem with simply trying your hardest at everything you do. I can try as hard as I want, but the unfortunate reality is I simply cannot dunk. If there's no thought, no perspective in your efforts, all of a sudden you become the definition of insanity, doing something over and over again and expecting a different result. If you try hard, that doesn't necessarily mean everything's going to work out. That's just not how the world works, contrary to what I used to believe. Now, everyone has their various issues and ailments, but this past year I had a broken leg. That was my problem. I couldn't walk under my own power for the entirety of five months from November to April. That was an issue for me because I had grand plans to play varsity basketball and to dominate singles tennis. I was honestly demoralized and I didn't know what to do. Sports are what I love to do. I'm a serious competitor and I felt like a major failure because I wasn't able to play the sports I loved. Yet this past winter, Instead of relieving my school stress by shooting free throws like I used to, I started to play trumpet a little more. I qualified for district band for the third year in a row. However, this time, I had all this spare time to practice. So practice I did. I played more trumpet during those five sedentary months than I ever had before in my life. And I ended up making it all the way to all state concert band. That's an accomplishment. <laughs> That is an accomplishment that simply would not have been possible had I been playing sports all winter. Now, it doesn't always work out that nicely, but there's certainly something to looking for ways around your problems rather than just trying to push straight through them. The mistake that many people make is approaching failure from a one-dimensional perspective. They think that when one thing goes wrong, the only path to success is through addressing that issue specifically. They try to dunk just by jumping and jumping by trying and trying, and for some people, that might work. <laughs> However, it's often a better idea to look for a way to approach the problem from a different perspective. Look for a way to create something positive from that failure, to learn something you did not know before, and that way, your failure suddenly isn't so much a failure as another step towards success. Ironically, I took some of the biggest steps forward in my entire life during a time where I couldn't even walk. Success is not some concrete milestone, some line in the sand, sand that is tangible and fixed. Allow yourself to explore all of your talents and interests, and your success will come in the culmination of your efforts, even if that means redefining what you initially envisioned as success. However, even adopting a new perspective in the midst of your failure can be purposeless if your efforts act, lack one essential element creativity. I view creativity as your way of expressing and combining all of your experience, knowledge, and perspective into something that exemplifies who you are. No two problems are the same, and everyone has different perspectives and backgrounds that will lead them to approach problems in their own way. Naturally, Brian and Cece aren't both going to get their kite out of the tree in the same way. Cece, being the smart and rational person, she probably will go grab a ladder or something, 
while Brian will summon his inner orangutan and be up the tree before CC even gets back with the ladder. That doesn't mean either method is wrong or that one person is better than the other. When faced with a problem, the most important thing to do is to examine your options and decide the best path to success. Sometimes you don't have a God-given ability to climb trees and you have to go get a ladder. But maybe other times you realize you don't even like flying kites and you can go golfing at the mock instead. <laughs> Albert Einstein said, creativity is contagious, pass it on. If you pair that creativity with a fearlessness towards failure, only good things can happen. So perhaps the question that needs to be asked is this, what stops people from being creative? from being successful? Are some people simply meant to be better at some things than others and that's all there is to it? I really don't think so. I didn't succeed at Trumpet this past year by some stroke of luck or a ridiculous amount of talent. There's more a result of me focusing my efforts in an area where I had the opportunity to succeed. Wayne Gretzky said, a good hockey player plays where the puck is, a great hockey player plays where the puck's going to be. My success was a result of the acknowledgement of where my puck was going to be and my willingness to redirect my energy towards that more realistic goal. That's all life really is. It's a conservation of momentum problem. <laughs> when you can manage to get all your momentum headed in the right direction, amazing things can happen. Helen Keller said, when one door closes, another opens. But we often look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one which has been opened for us. If you can manage to try hard while keeping all of your doors open, if you refuse to limit yourself and allow your creativity to flourish, you will be surprised by how far life can take you. And that is something even my grandparents can hear. Thank you. Hey, yeah.